Welcome to this tutorial on how to use your programming tool PGT11S in hyperface mode. First of all, you have to ensure that SOPAS is installed on your computer and the PGT is connected. If you open SOPAS, the following window appears. To add your device to the project, please double click on the respective item on the list. Your PGT11S will appear in the current project window and by double clicking on the icon, the connection to the device will be established. After you have successfully connected your PGT11S, double click on main page in the top left corner. In the device identification window, you can check the serial number and the firmware version of your PGT11S. All information related to the Ethernet connection are shown in the Ethernet window. Here you need to choose the appropriate interface of the sensor you want to connect. As I already said in the beginning, this tutorial explains the use of the PGT11S in hyperface mode. After clicking on the hyperface icon, you can choose between two modes. The hyperface master mode offers functions for setting and reading positions for data field management and others. The core function of the hyperface analyzer mode is to check the sine and cosine signals of the sensor. After you have selected the hyperface master mode, the tab datasheet appears after a couple of seconds. It depends on the connected sensor and its firmware which tabs are available. Here you can find the main criteria of the connected device in the encoder type label. In the lower left corner, you can always see the failure analysis during startup. In the programming tab, the RS485 options are listed which are read only. In the hyperface terminal, you are able to send commands to the sensor by direct input. The sensor's response will be displayed immediately. If needed, you may also change the encoder address. By default, it is 40 hex. Data fields in a motor feedback system are also known as electronic type label of a server motor. With the function data field management, it is possible to store motor or application specific data. By a click on the create button, the window create data field appears. Either you type in the data by direct input or you select the load button and upload a file from your drive. The current position of the motor feedback system is shown in this tab. During commissioning of the server motor, it is required to align the mechanical rotor position of the motor with the electrical position of the motor feedback system. This can be done in the set position window. Set position without synchronization means that the analog sine cosine track will be shifted related to the digital RS485 track inside the motor feedback system. If the synchronization needs to be recovered, select the set synchronization button. The tab administration offers the possibility to change the internal password. The default password is 55 hex. Four different code numbers can be defined. Here you can see the failure analysis of the motor feedback system during startup. By a click on read error status, you can read out the actual status. If a SES, SEM70 or SES, SEM90 is connected, it is possible to check if it is correctly mounted. Values within the green and yellow marked range are acceptable. If the rotor position is in the red marked range, the sensor is not mounted correctly. Please check the mounting instructions. To switch to the hyperface analyzer mode, please go back to the main page. Reset the communication and then change the hyperface analyze mode. In the hyperface analyzer mode, you will only find a single tab. In this tab, you can check the sine and cosine signals of a turning motor feedback system. If the encoder is not connected to a drive, please switch to the open loop operation mode and then press continuous measurement and turn the sensor shaft.